Now, as thousands of tertiary students settle into the new academic year, research by the University of Stellenbosch Business School has found that the certificates and degrees they aim to earn may have little impact on the economy. Now, that's compared with those who leave school in grades 8 and 11. But surprisingly, though, the school leavers have the most significant positive impact on economic growth. I'm now joined by researcher Peter Brewer to tell us more about this study. Peter, thank you so much for your time and good morning to you. Um, these certificates these degrees have a little impact on economic growth. Surely that should be a blow to those spending years and years attaining these you know, degrees and certificates. What has your research found in terms of why this is so? I think the first thing to note is that for the individual, it's still a positive because um, despite not showing uh, economic reward, I think it, it still shows a uh, positive influence on the individual's chance of employment. So I think that's the one thing that's positive. I think that the, the probably the most significant reason why we are not seeing um, that uh, post-school qualifications are contributing to the you know, economic growth of South Africa is um, just the, the, the poor state of our eco economy at the moment and the high unemployment rates, mm. um, offering little opportunities for these individuals. Right. And just then explain the contrast here, because we're also seeing that quite surprisingly, the grade 8 and 11 school leavers seem to have the most significant uh, when it comes to, you know, concretely, positively uh, impacting, rather, the economic growth of the country. Yes, I think that's an indication of more individuals uh, having um, some schooling qualification um, with literacy and math being established in that uh, in those years of schooling. So I think the indication is that the more individuals we have that at least have that qualification, the less people we have with um, no schooling. So I think in yeah, over the past 25 years, South Africa has done great um, through reducing the, the portion of the population with no schooling from 12% in 1993 to less than 3% in 2019. Yeah. Peter, I mean, I'm sure as, as a researcher in this, you've also consistently seen that, uh, you know, the skills trump of qualifications in the country, the quality of skills and skills development in the country has, you know, quite dwindled. Why is this so? Why do we always find South Africa ranking bottom compared to the global counterparts? I think that what we are currently doing is that we are measuring our success on pass rates. And um, we've seen in the past that, that something like matric pass requirements are just lowered. And um, there's a direct correlation between lowering pass rates for matric and um, the, the number of people that qualify with matric. Mm. So I think we are... We are fooling ourselves and we should start looking critically at, at what impact we want um, education to have instead of only measuring ourselves on, on pass rates. Where, where do you think government is also missing uh, the goalposts here? I mean, recently we've heard from Finance Minister Ino Gonongwana's budget speech making those budget allocations to higher education, amongst other things. But you have a critique in terms of where you feel like the gaps are still, you know, in terms of government missing out. I think we are, are missing the skills gap. So I, I don't think we, with our education programs, we are currently providing the right skills into the labor market. Um, so we have that, that big skills gap. And then, as you mentioned, the quality of education. I think we, we are really struggling to, to provide a quality education for individuals to, to be productive when they enter the, the workspace. Mm. Um, and I think we should, we should really have a look at, at what we are getting for the, on the returns of um, our budgetary allocation for education, which is the highest government spend um, focus area. All right. Well, we have to leave it there due to time, but I appreciate you speaking to us. Peter Brewer, researcher at the University of Stellenbosch Business School. Quite an important uh, conversation to have highlighting, of course, uh, the skills trump quite uh, worryingly dwindling in South Africa and that of course we have to take note of in seeing how we can of course improve that with that